All right, welcome back to the Regional Radio Sports Network, an IFD kickoff show from Michigan City, Indiana. So glad to be joined by Mark Peterson, the head coach of the Chesterton Trojans. And, Coach, you start off the season, Hobart and at Munster, two pretty solid programs historically. Talk about what those two games in particular are going to do for your squad, getting ready for the Doolin Athletic Conference schedule as well as the postseason. Yeah, you know, going in, every year you try and prepare as best you can in the offseason for DAC play. Week in and week out, we're playing against teams that are really going to compete at the highest level in the DAC. Uh, for us to be able to have Hobart as an opening game is, is really crucial. It's going to be a great testing po uh, point for us. You know, we've had an opportunity to see them on film uh, from last week against Valparaiso. So, you know, we've been able to pick up on, on, on just exactly where they're at, where they left off from uh, last year and things that we need to be able to take advantage of or, you know, build on in preparation for Friday night. Munster's been a fantastic stalwart program. Um, we, uh, with the the departure of, of Coach Marsh uh, and the addition of Coach Grunwald, uh, I, I really don't see that program change. And it's still going to be one of the top programs in, in Northwest Indiana. You know, two teams outside of the DAC that historically and traditionally have really great, great, uh, you know, um, wins and, and uh, great tradition. And, and ultimately, that's a, a great opportunity for us to be able to build on the beginning of DAC play. Summer camps are out of the way, summer practices as well. You got your scrimmage out of the way on Friday. What are some of the things that have really stuck out, both player-wise and some of the surprises that you've seen this season? Yeah, you know, I think uh, offensively, at our offensive line position, we've had a couple of kids that have uh, been solid uh, players for us. Riley Wologo and A.J. Wagaman, uh, realistically four-year starters as freshmen. They started in seven games, uh, have, have really come into their own uh, in, in this season. Uh, Charlie Burnt has done a fantastic job for us at the other position, at the left tackle position. Really, just an athletic individual. Um, you know, offensively, we've we've established our starting quarterback as Corey Bourne. Uh, saw some time last year. Unfortunately, got injured in the scrimmage against Griffith and and uh, missed out on seven games. Came in and played in the last three. Uh, saw a lot of time as a sophomore. Is going to be our our signal caller on Friday night against Hobart, but. Um, you know, I think Chris Van Eckern, uh, our kicker, has really just done a great, great job. And, and one of the things that we're excited about is our special teams being able to change field position. And, and uh, Chris is that caliber of player that, uh, that can move the ball from one end to the other on a, on a punt. And, you know, he kicks the ball out of the end zone and most kickoffs, not even just to the goal line. It's out of the end zone and even sometimes through the upright. So I think pleasantly surprised our special teams, I think, are going to be solid for us, our, our kickers and, and uh, our kicker and, and Chris. And, and you know, offensively, if we can, well, I just you know mentioned on the, the radio show that uh, we get down in that that red zone, we have to put the ball in the end zone. Uh, and we came away empty a couple of times last year, and, and too often that was really the difference in uh, probably five of those six losses that we had. All right, if you put it all together, the offense, the defense, and the special teams, what will it take for the Chesterton Trojans to have a really successful season this year? Uh, really. <laughs> You go back to the old adage, uh, we, we have to stay healthy. We have a great nucleus, wonderful kids. Our, our senior class is really a great group of young men, um, really good football players. And our junior class is, is very similar. We have a smaller number of those individuals. So when we start to really move beyond those juniors and seniors as full-time players, uh, we have a wonderful nucleus of sophomores, but they're young kids. And so if, we, uh, if we're able to, to maintain and, and um, you know, stay away from the injury bug, I think we, you know, we're going to have, have some great games. We're going to play with the, the teams in our conference. We're going to win many of those games that uh, you know, we, uh, we, we come down close at the end this year. And um, uh, that's going to be a key component for us is really avoiding the injury bug probably as much early on as it will be throughout the duration of the season. All right, Coach. Hey, best of luck to you and the Trojans Thank this you. year. Thank you. I appreciate it, JP.